guys, today we're going to be looking at the Clean Eating Couples Whole30 Chocolate Coconut Bite Recipe. So it says they're a healthy snack recipe, they're paleo, they're Catholic, lots, lots of good things. And they are vegan, which is important. So we're going to scroll down. See, don't those look so good. All the way down to the recipe. Now these are meant for Whole30, but I think they are also just a good snack in general. So this is what we're going to try and achieve today. And there are a lot of pictures. Okay, there's the recipe. So, it makes 12 bites, 99 calories each, and it is an American snack. You can see the ingredients, the instructions are straightforward, and we're going to begin. So, it says that we need half a cup of raw pecans. However, I do not have any pecans, so I'm going to use a mixture of walnuts, pumpkin seeds, and sunflowers instead. The next is pitted dates. And we need half a cup of pitted dates. After that, we have hemp seeds. And then chia seeds. Unsweetened shredded coconut. coconut oil, cocoa powder, and then it calls for almond milk. I do not have almond milk, so I'm probably just going to use water. Here's our half cup mixture of nuts and seeds. So I measured out a half cup and we're going to top it with hot water. In the meantime, while we're waiting for these to soak, we're gonna continue adding stuff to the food processor. Next up is two tablespoons of hemp hearts. And one tablespoon of chia seeds. We're going to add in our tablespoon of cocoa powder. It's probably more than a tablespoon, but... Our tablespoon of coconut oil. I'm going to add in a tablespoon of water. Maybe a little bit more because we lost some. They're much softer now. So we're going to rinse those off. Now we can add our dates in. And finally, our half cup of shredded coconut. Now we can secure the lid on. And blend. Yeah. 
Use your spoon to push it down. Finally, once you think it's done, you can take it off, set this to the side. Be careful of your blade. Grab a second bowl and fill it with more coconut. What we're going to do is take a small spoonful out of here, form it into a ball, and roll it in our coconut mixture. And once that's done, set it aside.